Josef Maria Emanuel Lešetický z Lešehradu was a Czech writer and nobleman writing as Emanuel Lešehrad. He was born in 1877 in Prague, the son of Josef Lešetický and Maria Zunova. His father had been elevated to the rank of nobility in 1889 by Emperor Franz Josef for his military accomplishments. He studied at various gymnasiums in Plzeň, Prague and České Budějovice, and then at the German Business Academy in Prague and the Czech Business Academy also in Prague. He worked in the archive of the National Bank in Prague eventually becoming head archivist. In 1905 he married Maria Hladíková. They divorced in 1913. He amassed a massive collection of manuscripts, paintings and other artifacts totaling some 35,000 items, which became known as the Lešehradeum, which the state would only return to his family in the 1990s. He died in 1955 in Prague. Today we will cover his 1947 collection, Staircase of Delusions, named after a nearly identical collection from 1933. Lesherad has a bit of a tendency when his stories take place in Prague to have the location serve as mere window dressing, doing nothing with the historical or architectural potential, having his narrator be mostly an unnamed writer, and having him meet the important person of the story by chance in a pub, or following them around till he forces an acquaintance. The Rainbow Pest concerns a fanatical mushroom breeder creating a mushroom that will grow forever, and after eating it, it expands his body into a hideous deformed bloated mushroom before consuming him entirely. People Turn to Stone is about an art sculptor who always wins first prize and whom his colleagues hate, and who is very secretive about his creative process, which to be fair is to be expected, when he uses chemicals to turn boys and girls he kidnaps into stone in a slow, agonizing process. The returned shadow has a dabbler in the occult try to return the shadow hereditarily missing from a nobleman, but ending up losing his to Satan. He says he plans to fight to get it back, but he gives up next paragraph and goes to live in a monastery. The Magic Ring is the first non-Czech story taking place in Granada, where a Czech exile is helping a Moorish boy to find his lost family treasure. But the boy dies when the house falls on him and the man finds a letter about a corrupting magic ring in the family vault, but he never finds it, and the story ends. A glass of water has a writer on holiday in Dalmatia meet a German baron, who tells him his idea about murdering someone through suggesting the clean water they drank was a deadly poison, and then offers him a glass of water. A story drama has a man's soul migrate to Venus temporarily after looking into a special barrel stone, where he falls in love with a feminine pillar of light, but then he must wait eight years for Venus to be in the right constellation again. But after waiting for those eight years, he kills himself since he cannot stand to wait eight years more. The living tomb concerns a sailor and trader who, when going to the Sunda Islands, winds up being served his own brother for dinner by wily cannibals. So he wears a sign around his neck saying his body is his brother's final resting place. Beyond the similarity of the settings and ways of introducing the narrator to the interesting party, there are times when one feels Leshehrad got bored of an idea and ended a story prematurely, such as the story of the magic ring or the missing shadows. There are grim stories, though especially the first two.